Uh, so Scum Manifesto is a raunchy queer feminist comedy about Valerie Solanas, the woman who shot Andy Warhol and the mother of radical feminism. So in 1967, she wrote this manifesto called The Society for Cutting Up Men. And in it, she says that in order for women to be equal, we have to overthrow the government, get rid of the money system, and kill all men. And you're not entirely sure if the manifesto is satire or if it's serious, but then she went on to shoot Warhol. So the play's about her and her relationship with Andy Warhol, as well as two modern day Taylor Swift worshiping feminists who find the manifesto and take it a little bit too far. We haven't done the show in Saskatoon in two or three years, and it's come a long way since then. We've workshopped it with the Saskatchewan Playwright Center Spring Festival with Emma Thibodeau, who's now our director, and Vern Thiessen. And they're, they really pushed Caitlin and I, who's the co-creator, to trust ourselves that we were writing an important political play and not just a play full of easy jokes. So we've, we've grown a lot as artists and as playwrights, and we also now, thanks to the support of the Saskatchewan Arts Board, are able to hire a full female identifying and non-binary team of artists to work on the show. So we can have a set and we can have projections, we can have costumes and everything that you can't have when you take a show on Fringe Tour, because it all has to fit in the back of a car and you have to set it up in 10 minutes. So I'm really excited to have a permanent home at the refinery for this show and for all of the amazing artists we have to share their voice and tell this story. I absolutely love performing this show for an audience. It's very raunchy, it's very in your face, it's bouffant, and I love watching an audience react to it. I love playing Andy Warhol, and I think it's a really important message in Saskatoon because we don't have feminist and queer theater here for a show like this to be made by an entirely female identifying and non-binary crew and to really lift it and bring it to the stage, I'm beyond excited to share it.